Pokemon has just posted a brand new trailer revealing the Pokemon Grafai Eye, and we're gonna live react to it right now. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm very excited about this. I've been looking forward to this Pokemon. Let's see what they have in store for us. I've traveled across the land collecting and recording photos of these mysterious patterns. Okay. I wanted to find out more about these strange markings and observe the creature who draws them. This it's is cool. Called Grafai Eye. Grafai Eye. So I ventured deep into the forest in search of some existing markings. I heard there's a chance that a Grafai Eye will come out where a pattern has already been drawn. Okay. I respect it. When I finally it. found this cluster of markings, it was the perfect place to set up my cameras. I use a camera that works great in low light. Even in the dark, it picks up the colors on the trees. I gotta say, I'm just glad that we're not doing the Glenwood Tangle again. Right, intro over. Let's get to some footage, shall we? So, oh, here. A scatterbug. A scatterbug. The frame. You see, it's been lured by a sweet scent coming from the marking. Okay. This pattern also acts as a trap for other Pokemon. Look, we caught a bit of its eye. Oh, it looks and so good! I'm so excited it for this is Pokemon. Our Grafai Eye. It's eating very Okay, so it's definitely based on an eye eye. It has that long finger. He's in front of the camera. Oh, I'm so and excited. Caught it making a mark. Amazing. Is that its tail? How no, it uses its finger. And the colors of the pattern matches the berries it's eaten. We can clearly see that the color Grafai Eye paints with depends on the Pokemon's diet. Oh. And you see here. It's marking over the top of the stripy pattern that was drawn before. It's claiming territory over another Grafai Eye. Ah, here's where it was startled, which made it stop and disappear. Oh my gosh. So frustrating. I couldn't see it anywhere, but it triggered the motion sensor light. And lo and behold, my backup camera. Oh! Out <laughs> Look at it! So incredible. Look at it! Uh, Definitely need a new camera though. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cool. I like this trailer a lot. That was good actually. Let's take a nice closer look at kind of the Grafai Eye at the end because that's that was kind of the good shot we got there. So incredible. So there it is. So it uses its long fingers, which I eyes are known for, to kind of paint, it seems. And this guy, he looks pretty cool. Apparently from the leaks, it is a normal and poison type Pokemon. That's what we're expecting at this point, although that may not be 100% accurate, but I think this is actually really, really cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about our newest Pokemon, Grafai. I, I quite like it. I quite like it. Is it my favorite new Pokemon? No, but I think it's pretty dope actually. I think it's also worth noting here that the Riddler had posted uh, two days ago that Grafai apparently has a pre-evolution, saying pre-evo ZZY in Chinese, Y is Yan, and then post a picture saying basically this vibe of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And I would say that that's a pretty good kind of assessment. It does kind of look like Stitch does. So I feel like the Riddler gave us a really solid tease for Grafai Eye going back a few days. And now that we've seen it revealed, it's actually pretty sick. I'm excited about this Pokemon and I like how it tied into the lore of that region, those forests with the markings on them. Then basically saying, hey, this Pokemon is what does it. And you know, it's this mysterious Pokemon. Pretty cool reveal, I like it. And I think this is worth noting that in that first trailer, there was the scene with kind of the police officer and we see like a flash go past the flashlight of the police officer. And I feel like there's a chance that that was alluding to Grafai, I think, right? It was doing graffiti somewhere, the police officer was looking for it and it kind of leaps across the screen. I think it's worth mentioning that that could have been Grafai in like the first teaser that we would have gotten for this Pokemon. I've been refreshing to see if the Pokemon website was going to update with any new information regarding Grafai, but that seems to not be the case right now. They may give us some updates over the next few days regarding this Pokemon in terms of ability and typing and things like that. But for now, we've got this cute little reveal for Grafai utilizing its long finger to essentially paint based on the food that it eats and make these markings on the trees. Really cool reveal. I'm excited about this Pokemon. I think C Titan is still my favorite Pokemon revealed, but I think this is a cool Pokemon. It's pretty ugly looking, but I think that that's charming in a way. Um, so props to the Grafai Eye reveal. And just like that, I was about to post the video and Nintendo drops a new trailer for Grafai Eye. Let's take a look at this one. It shows in-game footage if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Hey, we got some in-game footage of Grafai Eye. Let's see it. Hey, look at it. Yo, it looks pretty cool. It's got that long finger with like the paint on it. Grafai Eye poison and normal confirmed. There you go. 
There you go. Move's kind of funny, though. Looks cool. Oh, yeah. So he's going to be poison. Jump bluff confirmed. Although, I think we already knew Hoppip was in the game. And that's it. That's all we got. I thought we were going to get more than that, to be honest. Okay, here's one of the things we were waiting for. Grafia is a moody Pokemon with a fastidious disposition. It doesn't form packs, preferring to roam alone. It's constantly caught up in territorial struggles with other Pokemon. It is the toxic monkey Pokemon, poison and normal, 60 pounds, and it has unburden and poison touch. Poison touch is a very, very good ability with a 30% chance, I believe, to spread poison around, which is super cool. And then, of course, Unburden is really useful if it uses its berry, right? If it consumes a berry. It sets up poison traps around its territory. Grafia is nocturnal. Once the sun set, it licks its hands and fingers to cover them in poison. Then it uses them to draw patterns on trees in its territory. The poisonous saliva used to paint paralyzes bug Pokemon, which are drawn to the saliva's sweet, fragrant scent. When Dawn draws near, Grafia goes to collect any incapacitated prey. When Grafia senses danger, it be its poisonous saliva becomes even more toxic. This Pokemon specializes and uses its poisonous saliva, which changes colors depending on what the Pokemon eats, to attack foes by spitting at them or slashing at them when coating its claws with saliva. When it senses danger, a poison rapidly becomes concentrated, resulting in a potent toxin. Once absorbed, will immobilize a victim for three whole days. This is a Pokemon that I think could really benefit from corrosion as well. I think that could be kind of cool. But that's pretty much your full rundown on Grafia. I think that's all we're going to get here. Overall, I, like I said, I'm pretty excited about this Pokemon. I'm glad we finally got the update. It's kind of weird that they released it like 30 minutes later, but it looks pretty cool. And again, we have reason to believe that there's going to be a pre-evolution of this Pokemon as well. Um, and it does kind of look like Stitch. So I think a lot of things going on there, but Poison Touch, very cool. Unburden's really cool. We'll have to wait and see stats. This looks like a Pokemon that's probably going to be pretty fast. I would think it's a physical attacker. Although I guess Poison types can always be special attackers because they like throw sludge bombs and stuff like that. And like I said, I think it would probably be relatively fast. I don't think it's going to be very bulky. And I'm curious what the pre-evolution is going to look like. Because it kind of looks like it could be a pre-evolution or a standalone Pokemon. But again, according to the leaks, there may be something else going on with Grafii. But overall, I like the Pokemon. I think it's pretty dope. It's nice to see it in-game footage. Um, and that's that. I think that's pretty much all we got to cover for today. But we'll keep an eye out if there's any more news and stuff that drops. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know your thoughts on Grafia in the comment section below. And don't forget to pick up some Team Shiny merch. I just dropped some brand new designs over at TeamShiny.com, the Laddies, and Gyarados. And you can use code SUMMER to get 15% off your purchase if you pick up three shirts or more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.